how can we achieve sound insulated bedrooms within a home? Usually you don't have any sound insulation requirements when you're considering within your own dwelling because you can speak with your own family and you can get along just fine. However, sometimes when you want to build a premium dwelling, you can raise the sound class, which also sometimes will put a requirement on rooms within the home as well. So let me show you an example here. Here's, here's an example with two bedrooms. And then you have bedroom one and bedroom two here. Now let's say that someone in bedroom one is snoring very loudly and someone in bedroom two is uh, trying to get some sleep too. Then if there is no sound requirement here, a lot of sound will come right through the wall and uh, it's uh, gonna be a problem. However, if we then put some, let's see, if it's a bit too thick, a bit thinner, maybe this one. Let's put some mineral wool inside the wall cavity here, so it's not just... Ah, it takes too long. This is mineral wool. Whoa, mineral wool, that's a mineral wool. I'm uh, I'm not really used to using the whiteboard jet. It's a bit of a different feeling, but I'm, I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, well anyways, now it's typical that this, this wall will have a 70 millimeters frame, and then you've got probably at least a layer of gypsum on, on either side. But without the mineral wool, you won't get any good sound insulation. But by putting the mineral wool inside the wall, you will get a pretty big improvement in sound relation through the wall. However, in this particular case, you have another problem. And it's the ventilation. Because as you can see here, you've got the air is coming from here. And then it's gonna go through the duct. And it pushes air out here. So you've got fresh air coming out and then the arrows here, they, it, it takes the air out from the room through the doors. But anyways, even if you put a really good wall here to separate these two rooms, you're still gonna get sound transmission here through the duct. And this is the same principle as you've probably seen in some old movie, you know, when they're screaming from the bridge down to the machine room and a big ship, full speed ahead or full reverse. They got like a, a, a duct that is speak into and that that's a really effective way of transmitting sound and that's what's gonna happen here so even with a really good wall you're still gonna get the sound transmission through this one and that means that we need to we need to install a, a damper here sound absorber what's it, what's it called you damper I can't really find the English word right now a muff, muffler maybe it's the same that you got from the exhaust system on your car. I think you draw them kind of like this. Now you've got a, uh, a muffler between the rooms and then the sound will only get this far and then it's going to be absorbed here. So it can't go between the rooms. Now we've got a pretty good sound insulation in, in this, this direction. It's okay. But then you have the next, the next question you have to think about. And that's the, the sound insulation to the living room, which is up here. Maybe someone is watching TV and they, this one, the other person want to go and sleep in here. So when they close the door, you don't really have any sound insulation in a door like this, because there's going to be a gap beneath the door to make sure that the ventilation works. But then if you have like one centimeter gap below the door, all the sound is going to... It's like an acoustic short circuit. It's going to go through that way. So what do you do? Well, if you put a, a door with a bit of mass and some... Now what's the word? Tröskel. The one that... So it can close airtight door. Bam! With some rubber lists uh, around the, the, the edges of it. It's really difficult to find these English words when, when you're starting to talk about the technical details. But anyway... It's got, it needs to be airtight to get sound insulation, basically. So you put an airtight door and you close it. Okay, then you solve the sound insulation problem. 
but you've messed up the ventilation instead, so you can't have it that way either. And that means you're gonna need to put some kind of sound insulation uh, opening. Now there's the next technical word I can't find. Please leave in the comments if you know the words that I'm talking about. Överluftstol. <laughs> if you look at the... Usually you have like in offices and stuff like that, where you have sound insulation requirements, there might be a little opening above the door with a little plate on each side and then there's a little sound absorber on each side so that it's like a sound absorbing opening in the wall uh, that will let air to be sucked out from the room and recycled but uh, you need some kind of sound absorbing opening to do that it's gonna look kind of like uh, let's see if I can draw it could look like this perhaps so this is this is the the hole in the wall, and then you're gonna need to put some kind of plate that covers this, but it's gonna be on a little distance to the original wall, and then you got perhaps one similar thing on the other side here, and then on the inside of that one, you're gonna have some sound absorbing materials, and you're gonna have the same here. So that way, when the sound comes, it, it needs to go in here between and it's going to bounce and then it's going to bounce and then it can come out on the other side. And if there are sound absorbers like this, it's going to lose a lot of energy, but you're still going to get a uh, ventilation opening through the wall. Now the combination with one of these, a sound glass door, you've got a muffler on your ventilation and you've got mineral wool and you've got a proper wall construction. That way you can actually achieve a bit of acoustic separation when you want to go and sleep. And, and this, can, this is a really good quality increase of, of the dwelling. And perhaps it's not that expensive either if you start to calculate on it. At least not to put some mineral wool in the wall and make sure that you don't have this uh, ventilation uh, duct that goes between the rooms. Uh, at least you can sleep without listening to the other person snoring, hopefully. That would be a really good start. And in today's video, I'm wearing a pretty cool shirt, which is... Uh, I find it hard to wear this one with a tie, so that's why I'm rocking it tieless. But it's got some cool colors, and it goes well with this jacket. It's like some bluish, some brown, gray, goes great with this jacket. The brown picks up with brown leather really nicely, like the watch, and you can have the belt and the shoes, of course, in the same leather as this one. And uh, there's also the buttons, they are also a bit colored, so you can have... here. Here's a... you see it's like a greenish color on the buttons, so that's pretty cool. And then I have this pocket square, which also has the same colors as the shirt. It comes... I was so happy when I found it. It also has blue, blue brown, and uh, some... Let's take it out and see. <laughs> there, here's. It's the same color scheme, so uh, it's a really cool match. If you, but it's pretty dark, so you're gonna need a rather light jacket, so you get some contrast to this one. However, if you only use the shirt and this one, it's it's a bit boring actually, I think. So that's why I put this lapel flower with some kind of color to just liven it up a little bit. So this this is a little spice that you put in your dish in the end to make it just work really nice. So that's, I like it. It's, it's been winter and it's been so cold here, so I haven't really used my lapel flowers a lot because I don't think it, it doesn't fit with the uh, ice cold snowy weather outdoors here in Sweden, but uh, we're closing up on spring so that I'm probably gonna use these ones more and more. But today I really needed to use it to, to get some kind of color to make it pop a little bit because you can, as you can see it's a bit, bit too little contrast if you do it like this. It, it works, but it's it's quite quite laid back, and I I like to have something that stands out a little bit. So thanks a lot. See you guys later.